After a September which brought nine defeats and compounded knee worries, we feared the fiercely dominant Tochinoshin of 2018 might have vanished forever. But while former glories cannot be relived, his upper body and thighs remain exceptionally strong, and it's intriguing to see how much they can compensate for his broken parts. A belt grip is a prerequisite to win. Arch nemesis Tamawashi confirmed that on day one. The Georgian still fears extending his arms into a lockable position against him, the damaging throw in July 2018 still scarring his sumo mind. He was far more confident lunging for Takarafuji's belt on day two, but the Isegahama man was sparkling in week one and refused to concede the battle for the inside grip. In went the left, out went the neck throw attempt in response, and Takarafuji marched him to the edge. But day three, as you know from my Koto Shoho video, brought Tochinoshin a spirited first win, the full rotating force of his left hand unleashed after a careful check of the rope's location. And day four brought him a further boost as he righted a previous failure. Whereas in September he botched his face slap against Terutsuyoshi and paid with defeat, this time, although in slightly doddery fashion, he hit and moved enough, landing the outside left, doubling up with an inside right, and almost lifting the smaller man over the rope. On day five, he met Tokushoryu for the first time since 2017, and reminded himself not to try the right forearm smash on him. Shoryu's left is simply golden. He can grip, he can scoop, and he can certainly pull. And his rugby-style dive at the rope means you'll be out before you can throw. Against right-handed Koto Eko the next day, though, the smash worked better. But against such a determined little grappler, an innovative middle game was required. Enter the unbreakable outside left. Tochi literally won that single-handedly. Day 7 saw him post a fourth straight win against Endo, having lost three on the spin to him last year. This time he used forearm smashes from both sides to drive Endo straight back and well into the audience, a far more satisfying route to victory than the slapdowns he deployed in their three previous bouts. Perhaps he felt a sense of loss, for with the slapdown was exactly how he beat Meisei on day eight. He then fought valiantly against Inform Ryuden on day nine, doing everything right once he hit dire straits, and proving he can still fight from multiple angles. But the problem was again of his own making. A right forearm smash leaves an inviting gap for a left-handed belt specialist. He was therefore right not to try it on Ichinojo, 
but failed to telegraph a sideways moving tachi ai and gave up his belt anyway. Pleasingly, the right knee resisted several force out attempts before finally giving up. Sadly, he was unable to mark the day 10 retirement of compatriot Gagamaru with a win. That defeat put him on a precarious 5-5, five and five, but his fortunes greatly improved thereafter, starting with another forearm smash outside left combo against Kiribayama, whose left shoulder was still affected by September's injury. Day 12 saw him approach Hokuto Fuji in a logical way, seeking to thrust him away before seizing the belt, but Hokuto's November afflatus was pushing him to defy logic almost daily. Thankfully, Tochinoshin's closing opponents were far less inspired. Okinomi, despite getting the left inside as he favours, failed to outmuscle him on day 13, in a match which revealed how much stronger the Georgian's right knee had become since their September meeting. And when a tremendous shoulder barge and firm inside right, coupled with a vice-like left, did for giant Kaisei on the final Saturday, Tochinoshin celebrated eight wins with a match to spare. His final adversary was, on paper, his toughest, Sekiwake Takanosho. The billing, late in the program, gave him a place in the prestigious foot stamping event before the final three bouts of the tournament. A poignant reminder of his Ozeki days, no doubt. And, as if inspired to appear in it more often, he closed off his tournament by doing this. <laughs> the outside left attempt fell short compared to the smash, but his foe's preference for a head-on battle suits him just fine. No need for the knees to move, and plenty of targets to attack. That ninth win should bring him back to where he was in September, only this time, we hope, with a markedly better knee. But no guarantees. Rather than titles and Ozeki returns, though, foremost in Tochinoshin's mind right now must be longevity, preserving salary status for as long as he needs until a viable next career takes proper shape. <laughs>